I was arrested last month in Mabushi here in Abuja. I used to reset any SIM that has a lot, bank a lot. I reset it and remove the money inside. We use new SIMs and all SIMs. You reset it and do what? I remove the money that is in your bank account. And steal the money that is in the bank account. account. Say it properly. And steal the money that is in your bank account. How do you I reset it with your account number. We check it through bank courts from the first to the last. If we get any bank that we get, then you use the SIM to buy the charge card. From there, they will send you the alert. Then from the alert, you will now get the account number. Then which which of the banks have the weakest link? Which of the banks or do, do you specialize more? First bank and access bank. Which banks are your which banks are your favorite banks? First Bank and Access Bank. Why are they your favorites? They are easy to reset it, sir. They are easy to reset? Yes, sir. How long have you been doing this business? <laughs> it's last two years, sir. How many people are working for you? I have uh, three uh, guys now here. We are still checking. Apart from the, no, you know them. Apart from the three that were arrested here, yeah, and are with you here, how many other persons are working with you? I have almost eleven. And how many states or the federation are you operating? Kano and Plateau State. Kano, Plateau. What of Abuja? And Abuja. What of Lagos? No, sir. So you specialize in... Mention them again. Kano, Plateau, Abuja. What is the biggest money you have stolen from an account? It's 800,000 from account. How many accounts? Can you still remember the number of accounts you have stolen from? There are many, sir. You can count them? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, is Yahya Zakari, also known as His Excellency. I really don't know why his AKA is His Excellency, but his name is Yahya Zakari. He is 46 years old. Yahya Zakari controls multiple gang of cyber crooks who stalk in trade is to attack who's talking trade is to go after sim cards phone numbers of innocent nigerians break into their privacy steal their bank ids and steal money from their accounts they have two main modus operandi the first is to go and purchase or acquire mtn lines the new starter kits in large numbers and where they get these they try to activate them experience has shown them that at this stage some of our service providers are recycling old numbers persons who have used their phones and for some reasons probably have traveled out of the country or for any other reason choose not to use the number again and those numbers are, are dormant and are currently being recycled and given reissued to persons as new numbers they are very skilled they are very skillful and they have ways of knowing or decoding old numbers so when they put on they are starter packs, they are MTN SIM start packs, and they are giving options to select numbers 
they select old numbers. And at random, they try to explore and see if they can get bank details from those old numbers. That's their first modus. The second, which is very dangerous and where they sometimes hurt innocent citizens, both physically and financially, is true deploying gangs that attack innocent citizens forcefully snatch their phones or sometimes sub or, or sometimes get these phones stolen via pickpocketing and once they get these phones their target is not the phone no matter how expensive your phone is they are not interested in that phone that is not the main target that could actually be a byproduct or a side benefit from the crime but the major target is your sim card and once they get your sim card they try to play around with it and see if they can find anything that can link them or take them straight into your account and they've done this successfully and with that again once they get access into your bank details when they get access to your bank details they go straight to steal your money the lesson for all of us here is the fact that you must guide your phone jealously and even when you lose a phone or a number and you think for some reasons because you've got two or three other numbers or two or three other lines don't don't just let your number fly into strange hands go back to your service providers do whatever is necessary to react to reclaim your lines and reactivate your lines and avoid letting your foot your, your your phone lines fall into wrong hands again as soon as your phone is stolen from you get across to your bank especially if you're someone that does online banking the first thing you do will be to get across to your bank and get them to take rare necessary action proactive action to ensure that these cyber crooks don't use your phone as a tool to assessing your account and stealing your money.